So, welcome back. Um, this is a sketch that I've done in a previous video on uh, looking at perspective and, and sort of buildings and, and popping in some figures, a kind of street scene. I do um, draw quite a lot of my uh, watercolour paintings before I start painting to this sort of level. Um, because I think that the, the actual drawing is key in, in, in what will end up being the finished um, painting. So I'm just going to show you how I would approach um, this painting. I'm just going to get rid of this old old mixtures in here. There we go. And we're going to come in first, uh, start in the sky. We're going to keep that nice and light and the paving area and the road in here. We're also going to keep in nice and light. And I'm going to mirror the, uh, this grey mixture that we've got. Uh, concocted up here so we've got some ultramarine a touch of uh, yellow okra and a touch of alizarin that's a strong color as well so alizarin crimson or alizarin crimson whichever way you want to pronounce it um, to create a nice gray the, the gray in the sky I'm just gonna mix up some more will be cooler um, than the grey we have. Let's just get some of that out there. So we've got two mixtures. So I'm just going to make this a bit cooler. It's always good to mix up your greys from three primaries. It's uh, you can come up with some so many greys. So let's just pop in some sky greys here. They're going to work quite fast. Bringing this down. This paper's not wet. Um, I'm going to now bring in some water here so this bleeds down. So we need to keep this part of the sky, sky quite light. I think we'll also bring some of this grey down onto the, onto the buildings here. Keep it light. And we'll leave this here. Now using the warm mixture we'll start remember I start at the top and work down we'll stop at the bottom and work that way so in other words we need the warmer and darker tones at the front going lighter back the same as we've got the darker tones going down I will sort that out because it just needs to be slightly darker in a second but let's just pop these in really fast slightly different technique and I'm angling the brush strokes that way because we've kind of got a road and I do want broken um, pieces. We'll just take out some of the pigment going down just to make it slightly lighter. And I'll just clear water in there and then I'll just uh, pop in slightly darker in here for the road and that'll blend in. So it's kind of doing an odd blooming there, and it's still damp, so we can sort that out. Um, same three mixtures, ultramarine, yellow ochre, alizarin crimson, keep it bluish. It's going to be stronger now, and you can tell when I go in. Normally I'd let gravity do the work. Um, so this is kind of all backing up, which is not normally the way to do it. You need to have the board um, and the paper up a bit more. Um, let's just reinvigorate this a bit. And what I might do in a second actually is just, uh, if it doesn't work out the way we want it, Let's just take a tissue, I won't do it now to show you, because it's not looking too bad, and just take out, out some. That's always quite nice, especially on a road. So, next thing to do is either leave that to completely dry off. Um, this just seem to my eyes actually just a bit too, a bit 
too dark, so we'll just go back into it. While this is wet, you can do what you want with it. So let's just go back in again. There we go. So that'll do. We're going to dry off now. And we'll come back once it's dry. So, welcome back. I'm now mixing up some yellow ochre. And we're going to come in with the buildings. So we're going to come in quite fast with this. We're just going to give it an initial uh, wash. Not going to be too precise. Uh, just bearing in mind we've got some awnings there that I need to watch. Um, let's see them here. Just go around these figures, just leave some light in there. And that's probably about it. I'll leave that. Just going to take out slightly down here. So create the illusion of it lightening up as it's going back. So we're kind of using that same principle of warmer tones at the front of the painting, or the closer we are, and like the cooler or tonally weaker as we go back. And that's it. Let's just get in with the path in there. That'll do. And on the other side we'll have a similar mixture but weaker because the light seems to be hitting here. I'll just put that in really fast. Just go roughly around the figures, not too worried about them. We've got pavement here, haven't we? Dot in a little bit more mixture. Just warm it up here. And that will be our next stage done. That's it. So, um, once this is dry, we'll, we'll come back and uh, carry on. <laughs> 